So what's going to happen today is we're going to have a photography section on the urban greenhouses which you see here. Uh, it's on my left. It was constructed on 1970s. The photo section shooting is going to be more on for flowers uh, and uh, the hydroponic system, the old hydroponic systems which has soil and we're going to see what is going to happen to them. Stay tuned for the other videos and uh, the pictures. The greenhouses is having about temperatures 22 or 24 I can say uh, I mean it was like spring but uh, still I see these flowers are flourish flourishing out this deserves a nice shot what do we see here is the soil the mediums that we can call so totally like the minerals the mediums right it helps the plants to grow. The plants normally need to 18 to, let's say, uh, 22 degrees to grow. And there's flowers actually. I mean, these are not really fresh ones. I'm trying to get one. Good. It's kind of a nice, nice hideout section in Paris, you know, when you wanted to visit something and you want to inspire about gardening and Especially on winters, how do people do gardenings and have the flowers and have their vegetables harvested? This is the old age thing. At the new section on the urban farming, on you can see my Netherlands video, which you can inspire about the urban. What is the new technology happening? But these these things were constructed about. Ah, there's something about India. I couldn't pronounce this thing. Andre, okay, 2002. I don't know, there must be some plants. Oh, these are real mediums. These are high protein mediums. What happens is thing, this can be cocoa fiber or any other substances to push the plants. It's different types of varieties. There's a nice hideout section. Let's see the other house. Big doors. There's too much of mist. The water system. Close the door. Black coffee. Okay. You can see the moist. I don't know whether you guys can see in the camera or not. There's a moist coming out. This is the temperature control. You know, you can see the re, uh, the closed sections. Uh, I don't know. These motors can open up the doors. There you see them. These are covered in shield because the sunlight is not needed. Uh, when it is so sunny, the plants need about like only 22 degrees and the photosynthesis happens uh, when it's, there's medium about sunlight, not heavy sunlight. Now this is a nice one. Always love this revealing shot. A leader in the group, Leza, he loves the smooth way of taking shots. I've not got the best one, but I'm still I'm trying to do something for him. And he loves this. As much stable as you can. And this deserves a picture. There we have the cactus. Uh, it's fully grown. It deserves a great picture with the angle. Yeah. Mm. Uh, this one. The phone is good. Jurassic Park. I 
they said they shouldn't be grabbing photos but with the phone you still can go so i am stealing something I mean, there is a coconut tree or a palm tree, you can call it. It is fully grown. I don't know how did this survive in winter. There are some birds. in color. There's a pond. Now we are stepping into a more warmer room where these plants need more high temperature. Yeah. There you see the banana leaf. It's pretty hard to grow. Search tropical. Tropical uh, garden, you can call this. Wow, these are the big fishes. Today evening for a beautiful dinner. This deserves a simple picture. This can only happen in winter unless you have photos and you can see the Controlled water system, controlled cover where we have hidden. This is pretty much more warmer. I can see this can be about 28 degrees or 27 degrees. You can start sweating because it, ah, well, you can see some mango leaves. Yeah, these plants cannot grow. I mean, this is plantain. Typically, we in India we have our food. And this banana leaf this is because these types of plants the sense of giving uh, uh, a medicine called i forgot the name it starts with p uh, for, oh i don't capture the name but yeah so we eat the food using this banana leaf there's my team taking photography This is a perfect view. Yeah, look at the typical garden of tulip. I want to get a nice shot of this. This is just behind the garden. Beautiful to see. These walls are so thick because in winter what happens here is the air doesn't go well you can see the thickness of it they have 
gardens inside classrooms let's go check it out but this is a photo right i don't see the right angle Small tennis court. International.